I don't even know if this is online. This is my second live, I feel like. All right. I'm going to give it some time for people to get on. Okay. Excuse the noise. If you hear anything, I'm right by my window. And I live on the main street. That's where my windows are, so you're going to hear cars and stuff going by. Hey, Sylvia. Hi, Maya. Hi, ladies. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, everyone. What is this one piece of hair? Out of place. Hi, Adria. Hi. I'm going to give some more time for some more people to jump in. And then we're going to talk about getting snatched for the summer. Because, honey, summertime is like 82 days away. 81 if we being real technical. So, we got no time to play. No time to waste. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Shannon. <laughs> hey, ladies. Hey, boo. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's, you know, I got this little plant-based skincare that I use. The traffic is so disrespectful, so y'all bear with me, please. Just bear with me. Um, I live in the Bronx, in the city, basically. So, you're going to hear, and I live on the main street, so you're going to hear a lot of traffic and noise and stuff like that. Um, are you guys ready for summer? Not me. I mean, in summertime. <laughs> Anybody have any plans this summer? Any trips? Birthdays, occasions that you want to get prepared and ready and snatched for. Let me know because I know I do. My birthday's in June. June 22nd to be exact, the second day of summer. And then I have a wedding to go to in August. So it's crunch time. No, I'm not ready yet. Sylvia, you stay snatched, though. You a slim joint. You just stay snatched. <laughs> and you like spring better. Because the summertime, is, is it too hot, too humid in the summer for you? I mean, summer is my favorite season, not because it's my name, just because I kind of like the heat. I like the sun. I like looking tan. So you would think that I would move somewhere where it's summer all day around. Well, I'm working on it. Hi, Kiana. Hey, girl. <laughs> Let me get some likes if you're liking this video because I'm about to share a lot of information. I know as women, especially when you get like 30, 35 and up, it's hard to lose weight. It's really, 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 really hard. So, and I'm one of those. I'll be 35 this year. So, it has gotten harder for me to lose weight. So, I... I'm not ashamed to say I need assistance with losing weight. I'm not, you know, heading over to DR to get cut up open and stuff like that. No shade to anybody who does that. I'm not doing that. But I will take some healthy, safe, plant-based supplements to help me on my journey. So that's what I'm going to, you know, talk to you guys about to take some of the healthy route to help you in your weight loss journey so that you can get snatched by the summer, slay those swimsuits, you know, have a little Baywatch moment on the beach. Okay? Who else jumped in here? Hey, Kim. Hey, Brandy. <laughs> so, I, I asked the question before, and some more people have jumped in. Does anybody have... I'm thinking 35. I have to remember how old I was turning. Um, does anybody have any plans this summer? Any, like, birthdays, vacations, occasions? Anything in particular that you are preparing to look fine for to look snatched sucked in waist on where's the waist at no waist like that you know hey jennifer daisy hi daisy kimmy where you going let me know where you going you stay on vacation kim stay on vacation y'all to be young again no but for real she stay on vacation Hey, Alicia. I stay here for the... <laughs> Thank you, Brandy. I did like a, a little twist out today. Um, and luckily, you know a natural hair, it's like every day is different, hit or miss. Today, actually, hair gods have blessed me. 
holidays, holidays, all year long. <laughs> oh boy. Hi, Jennifer. I have a few trips. Hello. Oh, you got a few trips. Okay. So we got people got a few trips. Some people like to be snatched all year round. Can we go on a can cool? Listen, so we got to get it together, ladies. We got to get it together. So I just wanted to come on here because I know for me at the age of 35, um, the way my metabolism is, is treating me right now, it is going slow. It is running slow. Can you see who was watching? I can't see your face, Alicia, but I can see what you're writing. So I can't see you, see you, but I can see you if you know what I mean. <laughs> candy and your skin is looking your hair thick. Oh, thank you, Daisy. Um, so like I was saying, it my metabolism has slowed down. I don't know if it's because of my age. Uh, I've had some medical issues in the past four, three, four years, um, specifically in the abdomen area. So, and that is my trouble zone area. So. I said, you know what, I need a healthy way to try to help me lose weight. For me, it's not enough for me to be in the gym. I'm a real thick, thick girl. So I need some assistance. I need something that's going to speed up my metabolism that's healthy, but and also something that is going to help me, you know, on my cheat days when I do want to have, a, not burgers particularly, but I love french fries. I love french fries, sweet potato fries. I love potatoes, chips. Ugh, so... I need something that's going to help me with that. All right, so luckily I joined and I started a health and wellness beauty business. And I only joined to, you know, grow my hair and get the skin together, get the skin super fleeky, right? But then I started to learn more about the products and started to use the products. And they have amazing weight loss supplements that I started to use. And I saw really great results from last year when I was getting ready for my birthday trips to Cancun. And like I said in my um my post last night, I waited until around this time because I'm like, oh, I got it together. I'm going to do it. I'm going to lose the weight. So I waited until the last minute. And I was like, all right, I got to get it together. I need to kickstart this, this workout. I was going in the gym, not every day, but I was probably going like four days a week. I was busting out cardio. And in the beginning, I wasn't seeing that much weight loss. And then when I started using the products, I started seeing weight loss coming off. But I had to be consistent. So it wasn't just taking the products. It was me being consistent with, no, Summer, you can't have no rice and chicken tonight. You're going to have chicken, but you're going to have some salad next to that. No, Summer, you can't have no bagel with butter and jelly. You got to have egg whites. You know what I'm saying? So it was just about making healthier choices combined with a plant-based supplement, you know, that's going to help me with my weight loss and working out. So it's a combination of things. And if you're doing two of the three and you're still having trouble, I would definitely say, you know, to try some of these supplements. You don't have to try everything but to try some of them. And I'm going to go through each one so you could kind of figure out which one is good for you depending on, you know, how you're noticing your body works and what you need and in the time frame. All right, so the first thing, excuse me, I'm a little thirsty. The first thing I'm going to talk about, well, let's just talk about this, my energy drink. My energy drink, hey, Munchie! My energy drink, I don't drink these every day, but I drink them when I am, I have a, a long day ahead of me or I'm super tired. If I go to the gym in the mornings, I'm super tired and I really don't want to get out of bed. It takes a lot for me to go work out, but I know I am going to work out. I just need a little oomph of energy. So I take my energy drink. It, I'm, I've never been, I'll be honest, I've never been a big energy drink person. Red Bull I've tried is disgusting to me. No no shade to anybody who likes um, Red Bull, but that's not my cup of tea. I really don't like it. I, I never liked it from the first time I tried it. Monster the same, didn't like it. Not my thing. So, hi, Unique! So, um, when I tried the energy drink, I loved it automatically. It wasn't too sweet, 
and it doesn't give me any jitters doesn't make me feel funny no heart palpitations um i did not crash i will say though the first time i tried it i tried it at like seven o'clock at night i did not know that it was really gonna give me energy the first time i tried, I tried it at seven o'clock at night i think it was up to like three four in the morning okay so do not take it at night take it in the day um, but it is less calories than most of the other energy drinks on the market. Lower sugar, lower carbs. It's just an all-around better option of a energy drink. Energy drinks in itself are not like the most healthiest thing in the world. But if you're going to drink an energy drink, choose a healthier option. And this one right here is a healthier option. Besides that, I do drink every single day my greens on the go. Hey, King Leo. It's good to see. Hi. Hi, Michelle. Um, I take my greens on a go every day. Sorry. My greens on a go every day. Why? Because last year, well, I was taking them every, every day anyway because it's 34 fruits and vegetables, nutrients and herbs that we normally don't intake on an average. I know for me. I don't really, when I go to the supermarket, I don't go always to the produce section to stock up on fruits and veggies. Well, vegetables I do. But fruits, I really don't because I'm like, all right, if I don't eat it, it's going to go bad. That's a waste of money for me. If I don't eat it, it is going to go bad. I'm going to have to throw all of this out. So with this, I'm still getting my fruits and vegetables every single day. And I'm not wasting money buying produce that I'm not going to eat and throwing it in the garbage. So... I just take a packet. This comes in a tub also, but for me, I'm always on the go, ripping and running. So I like the fact that I could just take this packet, dump it in some water, eight ounces, dump it in like apple juice, orange juice, it even tastes good in cranberry juice, and mix it up, and I'm good to go. And it gives you energy, it detoxes you, not to the point where you run into the bathroom. It's just a daily detox. We consume so much stuff, eating, putting in our bodies that if you're not daily taking care of your insides, it's gonna it's gonna come back to haunt you. Trust me. Trust me. So it's a daily detox, it alkalizes you and it balances your pH system. So all together, this glow I'm getting is not just because skincare, it's because I also take care of my insides. All right. And um, last year, I make sure to take this anyway. I was gonna lead up to this. Last year I was hospitalized. I had a um intestinal blockage. I don't know if that's a little TMI for y'all, but I'm keep it real. I had an intestinal blockage, and it wasn't because I was eating the wrong things. I had a surgery prior to that that created scar tissue and wrapped around my intestines. The most painful thing ever. So after that, I'm just really, really, really more cautious on what I put into my body and being really healthy. I'm sorry if you guys, the new people who jumped in, I am sorry and I apologize in advance for the noise. Um, my window is on a main street and of course you're gonna hear cars and stuff like that driving by, so I apologize. But um. The greens on the go are an amazing option for fruits, veggies, nutrients, herbs, and just making sure your insides is clean because whatever you put on your inside, it shows in your skin. All right. The next thing. So I don't know who follows me on Snapchat. Hi, Samika. Hi, Anna. Who, who, how often do you clean yourself out? Well, the greens is not like a cleanse, cleanse. I'm going to get to the cleanse, cleanse. The greens is like a daily detox. So I drink my greens every day. There are times where I make a whole pitcher of greens. I don't buy a lot of juice. I don't buy soda at all. That's a no-go in my house. And um, so I buy water by the cases. I'll make a pitcher of greens. Put a little lemon in it, maybe some fruit, added fruit, just to make it pretty. I'm all about, I'm visual. So, um, if I'm not drinking a bottle of water in my house, I'm drinking greens or energy drink. I don't really do the soda. I may have some wine occasionally. And I got some liquor in here, you know, for them days. But other than that, that's what I'm consuming. I'm trying to read y'all um, answers. Hi, Danielle. Hi, Tanisha. I 
much. I need to do that. Um, Brittany, what do you need to do? The, the greens on the go? I'm trying to read. I don't want to. I can't scroll. Yeah, I need a little of this. A cleanse. I need to lose the sweaty skin. Well, Danielle, you have my, my personal number. Hit me up and I'll, we can go through a customized um, plan for you based on what you, what you need. Um, so, okay. So the next thing I was asking who, oh, make a picture. <laughs> it, let me tell you, to make a picture is so easy. You grab it out, pour you some greens, you're good to go. Um, the next thing is I was asking who follows me on Snapchat. If you don't, my snap is Summer B Radio. And you can see that I'm not just saying all of this stuff and talking all of this stuff. Maybe girls in the gym. And when I'm in the gym, I ain't, I ain't beat like this. I don't look cute. I'm getting it in. All right. So one of the things that I do when I go to the gym, it's not It Works related. I wear a heart rate monitor, my polar watch, and it comes with this, this strappy band thing that you, you wet on the, on the inside with water, wrap it around your waist, you know, on your chest, and it sends signals to your watch. It tracks your heart rate, calories burned, miles, all kind of things. That's how I am able to track, you know, when I'm at my maximum heart rate, if I need to push a little more, I'm not, you know, reaching my middle. So I like that because it helps me keep, keep on target. Knowing your heart rate is so, it's very important, Tanisha. It's very important when you know your heart rate because it helps you actually burn more calories if you know your heart rate. That way, because I know someone, in the beginning, I didn't know nothing about this. I would just go to the gym, and you know how the machines ask you what's your maximum heart rate? You just put in a number you think. That's actually really important. You have to know your heart rate. So, besides wearing that, I take, um these with me to the gym because I go in the morning so what I do is I don't have a heavy breakfast I'll have like a yogurt or <laughs> one of my shake and I'll get to that and then I'll have my thermal fit now thermal fit supplements are the things that I was saying if your heart your uh, metabolism is like slowing down on you this helps all this stuff is plant-based, so you, it's no ephedra, nothing that's going to make you feel dizzy, lightheaded, like you're sitting still, but your heart is racing a mile a minute. This stuff does not do that. I tried stuff that has done that when I was younger, when I was younger, and scared the crap out of me. This stuff does not do that. So the ThermoFit is a thermogenic formula in a supplement that burns calories and increases your metabolism okay so you would take it while eating a meal three times two to three times a day all right i take one right before i go to the gym with a small breakfast because one for me i feel like it gives me more energy i can work out longer and i feel like my endurance is stronger when i take that before I go work out. And then when I come home, I'll have a snack. I'll probably have a salad or some tuna. And then for lunch, I'll have, but I won't take it with my snack because my snack is right after the gym. Something really, really light. Um, but then, usually protein. But then lunch, I take one with my lunch and then I take one with my dinner. Okay? And that will help me burn my metabolism. It's like, it's like a fire, it's like a furnace. And you're putting fire on the furnace to keep the, you're putting fire, you're putting wood on the fire. I'm sorry. You're putting wood on the fire to keep the fire burning. It's basically the same analogy. Okay. So this will help my fire burn longer and faster. Okay. The next thing is the thing that I use. I don't use it every day, but when I cheat. So this week... I made chili, homemade chili, with some nice little sea salt crackers. Anybody knows red meat sits into your body for a longer time than, you know, fish or chicken. So, my fat fighters. They're so good because if you do have a sweet tooth, if you do like to get it in on some, some chicken and some french fries 
or you go in a big mama house and she makes some mac and cheese. You can't do that stuff every day, not when you dieting. But when you do have those meals, please put this in your pocketbook. It's going to save you. What the fat fighter is, it's a carb inhibitor. I didn't know what a carb inhibitor was. A carb inhibitor is basically, it allows, so let me explain it like this. What the fat fighters and the carb inhibitor does is when you eat a fatty meal, usually your body absorbs that fat and it sticks to you and it stays to you. We don't want that. So what this does is the fat and the oils and the grease, it absorbs to the carb inhibitors instead of absorbing to our body. And then we deposit it out. Does everybody get that? It sticks to, so the, the fried chicken, the macaroni and cheese, candy yams, cornbread, french fries, all of that good stuff that we love, lasagna, rice and peas, all of that good stuff, mm -hmm. all of that stuff, it sticks to the carb inhibitors and then it flushes out instead of sticking to our body. The main thing is with all of this stuff, you have to drink a lot of water. There's some people who really don't drink a lot of water. Even outside of all of this, you should always be drinking a lot of water. So the fat isn't storing in the body. Exactly. The fat is not storing in the body. The fat attaches to this, and this goes boom, right out your body. Okay? But um, for all of this stuff to work, you definitely have to drink a lot of water. You're supposed to have, what, 8 to 10 glasses of water a day or half the size of your, half the amount of your body weight. Let me tell you something. When you drink a lot of water, not just for weight loss, you see it in your hair, you see it in your skin, everything shows. So when people tell me, oh, I don't really drink a lot of water, I look at them crazy like, like no tea, no shade. And not to be real, like, disgusting, what color is your pee? Because your pee should be clear, not real, real yellow. So that means you need more water, boo-boo, okay? If your skin is looking dull and stuff like that, you need more water. Your hair is getting brittle and dry, you need more water. Now I drink a lot of water. Yes, yes, drinking water is very... <laughs> joint is not yellow okay and yellow eyes like water is vital vital to a healthy lifestyle okay like you can't be walking around here looking like a zombie and then say to the next person how you get your skin glowy and popping how you get your curls all flurry and juicy because i drink water yes and the smell too water is very very important okay so this you definitely need water. Definitely need water with the fat fighters. These are for my girls who like to cheat on their diet. But let me tell you something. Just because you have this doesn't mean you can cheat every day. Okay? That means if you're going to cheat, cheat once a week if that. Because what's the sense of, you know, being on a diet, trying to lose weight, going to the gym, and then... Every single day, you're setting yourself back by cheating. You, you don't want to do that because I'm a serial wearer. That means I weigh myself every day. So I'm on point. I know when, you know, I'm, restore, I'm storing something that I shouldn't be storing because maybe I decided to have a little french fries. Maybe I decided to, to sit up and watch TV with Bay and eat popcorn. Like, I know because I'm, I'm on the scale a lot. And that's not a good thing. I'm not telling nobody else to do that. But what I am saying is be cognizant if you are on a journey and you have a deadline, be real conscious of what you're putting in your body, okay? Say, you know what, I really want a certain meal. I'm going to wait till Friday. I'm going to wait till Saturday to have it. And I'm going to just have my fat fighter with me in my bag in case I go out and, you know, have a cheat meal or whatever. You have to, you have to prepare. Okay, the next thing, let me read some of the, I just refilled my 20 ounce cup. That's right, 25 ounce cup. You have to drink water. Oh, 
the work and cheating. No bueno. That's doing all the work and cheating is no bueno. That's right, Crystal. <laughs> Kimmy, that's what I should do. I should just have someone come and take my scale away and hide it. But I think I will go crazy. I don't know if I can deal with that yet. Take the fight fight as right after you cheat meal, right? Yes. Yeah, so you would take it within an hour after having your cheat meal. The fat fighter within an hour after having your cheat meal. The thermal fit 15 minutes before or 15 minutes within having your regular meals three times a day. Summer, what is the max fry fat fighter per day? They say two, two. Because honestly, they say, you know, two per meal a day. But I'm going to tell you, do not have a cheat meal every day. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do not have it. And... If you have a cheat meal once a week, this will last you longer because this is a month supply. So like the directions say, two a meal a day. But if you do not have a cheat meal every day, this could last you two months or maybe longer. So it's up to you and you'll reach your goal faster. All right. The next thing, the cleanse. I don't know if you can see that the lighting is kind of weird. Here you go. The cleanse. This. This right here is the Holy Grail. Now, this is basically like, you know, when people go on those master cleanses and stuff like that. That's what it's typically does the same thing, but it's not harsh at all. I hate that you, the, the light, the lighting is good, but the lighting is not good. So, um, it defeats the purpose. I need to order Fat Fighters. Yes, like, Fat Fighters definitely help. But this cleanse... It basically works the same way as the Master Cleanse does. And it doesn't taste disgusting. It tastes like Sprite, actually. Like lemon Sprite. Like, I actually, I've never thought I would like the way a, a cleanse tastes. But this tastes really good. And um, it's a two-day cleanse. And I will suggest if you're going to do the cleanse, try to eat as clean or healthy while you're doing the two-day cleanse. That means no cheating and no fat fighters. Okay, so how it works is it comes with four bottles. Let me show you. Four bottles that look like this. All right, four ounces each. So you wake up in the morning, you drink one before you have your breakfast, right? Have your breakfast, go about your day, you come home. All right. And then you drink your last one before your dinner. All right? And then you follow the same procedure the next day. What you will not, you will not feel like, do I need to stay home? Am I going to be in the toilet all day? No. Can I go outside? Can I run errands? Can I go to my kids play? Can I go see my family? Can I do? You can go about your business normally. You are going to use the bathroom, but you won't be leaking running to the bathroom. It's not that kind of cleanse. We call it the white pants friendly cleanse because it's not harsh enough where it's one damaging any of your insides or damaging your clothes because you're not going to be like leaking anywhere. All right. So and drink a lot of water. But um, that is the two day cleanse. I tried it. I think I lost, what, three pounds in two days. Some people have lost six. Some people have lost five just from taking the cleanse. So it all depends. Hi, Amoya. So it, it all depends. Everybody's body is different. So you guys have any questions so far before I get into the shakes? Red meat lovers need the cleanse. They do. Red meat sits in, like if you're somebody who has red meat often in a week, I try not to. I don't really buy a lot of red meat. But if you do, you should definitely do the cleanse once a month. Once a month. First of all, you shouldn't even be having red meat multiple times in one week. But that's a whole nother video. Does anybody have any questions so far? If you like any more information about the stuff that I went over so like in the beginning to this point, you can definitely text me 718-208-4772. I will definitely answer your phone calls if you call me and I'll definitely answer your texts. Call me, text me, and we could go over like what are your goals? Like do you are you going somewhere? How much weight you want to lose? 
Do you want to target an area that you're trying to lose weight? I can help you with that. Anybody, anybody, no questions? All right, so I'm going to jump into the protein shakes because there's two of them. And sometimes people don't know the difference. So the ProFit is like protein. You know when you go to GNC and you buy protein to have, make meal replacements? That's what this is. It's 100 calories per serving. How much carbs is in here? Five grams of carbs, one gram of sugar, three grams of protein, three grams of fiber, 14 grams of protein. Protein is very important when you're trying to lose weight. Protein is what brings the waste in. Okay? Carbs expands it. Protein shrinks it. Okay? All right? So this one, my experience with it is... This one is more filling. This one is more an actual meal. So if you're not going to cook dinner and you just want to make a shake, that's that's this baby right here, the ProFit. This one right here, this is all plant-based protein shake. It's soy-free, no GMA, no dairy, and it is vegan. For my vegan lovers, this is what you are going to choose to make your shakes. What I do know from my experience, like I said, I use both. This is something I would take after my the gym. Because it's not a real, like, I don't feel like it fills me as long as the ProFit for a meal. But it fills me enough for, like, a snack. Or to have an addition with a small snack. That's what this, this shake is for. And I just mix it with, like, almond milk. I use the unsweetened one. Almond milk, and I can put a little frozen fruit in there. That's why I get vanilla, because I feel like with, with vanilla, I can make different kinds of shakes. So, how does the ProFit taste? They both taste pretty good to me. Like I said, I think more of it is not how the powder tastes. It's more on what recipes are you using. Because I've even when I went to GNC and bought protein, I wasn't just drinking like I wasn't just putting powder in water and powder and almond milk and just drinking it. Like I said, I always tell you I'm a visual person, so I want to put some frozen strawberries in there, some frozen peaches. I'll put my greens on the go in there because it's vegetables. I'm doing a whole recipe, so I love to make and I find recipes like on Pinterest that I want to try. And I will just make different flavor shakes. But I will say that they are really good alone. Just, I would say, add a little vanilla extract. Just to, because it's not a lot of sugar in these. So just, and that's good because sugar is carbs. You don't want a lot of sugar. So I would say put a little vanilla extract to make it a little, uh, a little more like you getting Starbucks. Like you getting a little more like a, um, it's not a dietary shake. You know, something that feels like more sweet. Any other questions about the um the shake or and th this one is also 100 calories and this one has two grams of fat. This one has more of a plant. This is plant based, but it has more protein. It's 15, so one more percent gram of protein than the ProFit, but they're both really good. And this one has five grams of carbs and one gram of fiber. So with any weight loss journey. You have to, the shake is my non-guilty snack. Exactly. Exactly. Like the shake is not, I don't think a shake, the shake is a meal, but it's an awesome snack. Instead of, instead of like reaching for, I don't know what people snack on because I don't really buy chips and stuff in my house. That's another thing. Let me put this down. That's another thing. When you're dieting, don't keep a lot of snacks in your house. That's sabotage. Don't even do it. For me, there are snacks in here because my boyfriend is here a lot, but better believe you have to have the endurance to be like, mm, those look good, but I'm not going to touch it because I want the snatched waste. Okay? Even candy. Candy is sugar. You can't be eating candy. So don't just think it's the chips and the Snickers and the Musketeer bars. It's the Sour Patch Kids, the Gummy Savers. The Twizzlers, all that stuff. That stuff is not good either. Just because it's not like carbs, it's, it's sugar. You know, you can't have that stuff. So while you're on your journey to losing weight, you just got to 
find healthier snacks. And like Posh said, the, the shake is a really good non-guilty snack. And you can make it sweet by adding different fruits to it. You know, get get creative. Have fun. Listen, the best thing about going on a weight loss journey is having fun with it. If you don't make it fun, you're not going to stick to it. Hi, Felicia. Hi, Nikki. If you don't make it fun, it's not, it's not going to, you're not going to stick with it. You're going to feel like you're depriving yourself. Hi, Shakia. You're definitely going to feel like you're, you're depriving yourself and you're going to quit. Simple as that. I'm keeping it all the way funky because I've done it. I have said, you know what? I'm going to stick to these so-called like military diet and, and this diet and that diet. And I'm going to eat only chicken and only broccoli and only that. That does not work for me. I get bored. Like I get bored with my hair. I get bored with my meals. So I have to make it very fun and very appetizing. I love it. <laughs> Thank you, girl. No, I'm trying to keep it natural for a while. Although I do miss my wigs. Hey, Shakia. So, that's why I say if you are looking to get snatched by the summer. Summer actually starts June 21st. We have like 81 days. It sounds like, maybe it sounds like a lot to you guys. But it really isn't. It really really isn't and depending 80 81 day oh sorry 81 days against how much pounds you want to lose listen maybe in 81 days you don't reach your goal but you reach half you reach half of that that's something that's step one so just you know kind of find out what is going to work best for you again I am here to help you if you have questions on how to kickstart your weight loss journey, well, you know, how to kickstart getting getting snatched for the summer so you could be slinging on the beach, slinging in them swimsuits, hit me up, 718-208-4772, and I could definitely help you. I can, you know, help you out with, if not one, some of these supplements, I can help you out with, there's a Facebook group that me and my friend have, have started, and Definitely, the support is going to help. The support definitely helps. And Daisy is, she was in here a minute ago. Daisy is one of my business partners. And she started her weight loss journey back in October. Mind you, we were all working out together. But who stayed consistent? Daisy. Daisy is now down 36 plus pounds using these products. Okay, so when I say this stuff works, it works, but it does not work alone. You have to be consistent. You have to be serious about the results that you want. You need to do a how-to on curls. Maybe one day I will do a, um, a video on how I do my twist out or when I do the takedown. That will be my next Facebook Live, Felicia. Thank you. <laughs> but um, so, yeah, like if you definitely want help with your journey because I am on my journey. We can do it together. We can definitely do it together. You know, I talk about clothes and tell y'all where to get it. Why wouldn't I tell you how to get snatched? Okay? Stop playing. Stop playing. So, I'm going to let y'all enjoy the rest of your Friday, your TGIF. And if you have any questions, um, need any help, hit me up. Okay? Bye, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, share it. Like it, love it, and I will be back with another video, maybe on my hair and my skin, next week. Okay, bye!